Hi, let me start by introducing myself. I am Margones and I am a geography teacher. I teach geography at Onze Lieve Vrouwen College Plus in Antwerp and I do so teaching the highest classes of the school, meaning fifth and sixth year of secondary school, so the students range in age between 16 and 18 years old, more or less. I entered the Brightec project with the project on meteors because as a geography teacher in the one class I introduced the project, it is a subject that is part of what I already had to see. So the first weeks of September I taught them some things about the structure of the universe and various objects that are within our universe like planets, the sun, um, galaxies, stars, etc. So when Stan Galders, who is the supervising scientist about this um, citizen science project around meteors, came and gave them a lecture, well, not physically came, but um, gave them a lecture um, virtually, <laughs> in a sense, um, he could draw back on things I already explained to the students um, and also give some more insight about what meteors are, how they are formed, where they come from, where they're going to and what the project was all about. And then for the second part of the project I took my students to a computer room where they each had a computer so they could um, individually trace some meteors on the Radio Meteor Zoo website. Um, everything went quite well except the students thought it was a little bit boring to just trace meteors for 15 minutes so in hindsight I would now probably try to do something other than just tracing the meteors but giving them another kind of, of um, task to do just not only tracing those meteors so for our students it was nice to see um, the the other side of, of in, a, in a way of what they're studying um, what they do is quite theoretical at the moment yeah they have some practice in, in chemistry and in physics and, and biology they they look through microscopes and have some some practical testings of, of various things but to know what scientists are doing and, and what they why they need the public um, was really interesting to them it was also nice for them to hear a lot of what they need to learn in geography lessons from someone else and not just from me so in fact it was quite basic what I did because I only have one hour a week to teach them geography and of course there's a whole curriculum that um, I have to, to see by the end of the year and it made it quite difficult to put too many hours into the project. For teachers wanting to, to introduce the subject and project to their students I would advise them to see if they can work together with other teachers who probably teach physics or chemist, chemistry or even mathematics um, because that's, that are, those are all subjects that go really well with a project on meteors so the problem with me was that we had to move forward pretty quickly and I really didn't have time to organize myself let alone any other teachers to set up a whole lesson plan or more than one lesson around the, the subject and certainly not um, teaching them various subjects so including physics uh, for instance although the physics teacher was actually quite interested another problem was that the, the subject meteors is something that I teach in geography in the fifth year so the students 16 17 years old but in physics the, the subjects 
the subject about radiation and how to detect the meteors, which happens to be with radio signals, um, is taught in the sixth year. So it didn't quite match up for us to work together on this project this year. So maybe if I do something like that again, I'll try to have a little bit more time to work things out and I'd really try to work with other teachers, colleagues um, to lighten the burden because it was quite some work. Um, but in the end I'm really glad we participated and the students were really enthusiastic so that was also an added bonus for them to be yeah, involved in the citizen science project. They got to help the scientist who wants to make an algorithm to detect meteors using a radio network around Belgium. So we, we were happy to help them out. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.